Now the next major features introduced in Ableton Live 9 are to do with the audio effects. Now Ableton have obviously had a look around at some third-party plugin developers who are doing things the right way and they have taken some excellent ideas and implemented them and uh, put their own original spin on them as well. So let's have a little look at what they've introduced into this new version. And the first thing that we should have a look at is the totally redesigned EQ8. Now I have a uh, drum loop here. So let's uh, try and bring out a bit of the kick on this. And you'll see the EQ now has a very useful frequency analyzer. And you can see if I double click on that, it becomes zoomed. And you can definitely focus in on the main area of the kick. Fine tuning that preset there to hone in right on our kick sound. So, as well as the frequency analyzer and the larger display that's possible, the actual EQ itself has been redeveloped from the ground up. And uh, one of the new features you'll see here, adaptive Q. Now this, if you put it on, will mimic the way some vintage analog EQs work in that the more extreme boost or cut that you apply, the Q will become sharper as you increase that amount. And that gives you a lovely vintage sound so you can keep that off for the more modern sound or put it on to give it a nice behavior similar to the way some vintage EQs work. Now the filters have all been redesigned. It includes some state variable filter behavior. And these improvements make EQ8 more than a match for any third-party plug-in EQ, in my opinion. I've been trying it out. It is very impressive. Just because it comes free, don't underestimate it. Now, the other big news with the audio effects has to be the deal that Ableton have done with the developer Cytomic. Now, Cytomic came out with a bus compressor that mimicked a very classic SSL bus compressor is one of the standard studio tools used by many great engineers on hit records from the early 80s onwards when it was developed to the, right up to the modern day it's still being used and you'll find it under the name glue compressor and uh, if we drag that in you'll see that it's got the Cytomic branding there to acknowledge this was designed by Cytomic and uh, just to give you a flavor of how powerful this can sound, let's, uh, let's give it some nice parallel room sound for this drum loop here. Extremely powerful. The glue compressor really does shine on bus tracks, so root all your drums through it or even put it on the final master bus there. Very, very fast VCA type compression. That has been very accurately modeled by Cytomic and that is a fantastic free addition to Ableton Live 9. One final new feature I want to show you that has been incorporated into Ableton's built-in audio effects is the way the compressor and the gate now have improved metering. It seems Ableton have had a look at the developer fab filter and seen what they've done with their excellent bundle of plugins. The way the metering is done on their Pro C and their Pro G plugins. Now if I pull out one of the presets here, you'll see it's got the traditional metering that we had in the previous version of Ableton. This preset has the new type 
of visualization. Now, if I press our drum loop again, you'll see it's much easier to visualize compression like this, I find. You'll see exactly how much gain reduction is eating into your peaks. If we raise the threshold here, you'll see it's based over time. So you'll see the compression isn't eating into the peaks. And now we lower the threshold to an extreme amount. Even more, you'll see exactly how much it's eating into those peaks there. Very extreme compression. It's just a great way to visualize compression, I find, and uh, I'm very pleased that Ableton have taken a look at what FabFilter have done with their plugins and uh, adopted a similar approach in Ableton Live 9.